Okay, so in this video we're going to briefly talk about the names of the four main properties we use when we're balancing equations. Um, so, so these properties, the, the additives, subtraction, multiplication, and division properties of equality are the names that we use to describe the operations we're using when we're balancing equations. So the additive property of equality is simply the step when you add to both sides of your equation. Right? You can see the addition happening right here. So if you're giving a number minus 6 is 7, um, we often think of the first step as adding 6 to both sides, which students would say. But another way of saying that is that we're using the addition property or the additive property of equality. That just means if you add 6 to both sides of an equation, you maintain equality in your equation. Nothing changes. You're adding 6 to both sides, therefore both sides of your equation are still equal. The subtraction property of equality works in the same way. Instead of adding now, we're subtracting to both sides. Right? If x plus 6 is 7, then if we take 6 away from both sides, um, we know that our equation is still balanced, and then we can solve for x. We can see that x is 1. The multiplication Haitian property of equality, of course, multiplies to both sides, and division property of equality divides on both sides. And I think that what's nice about uh, these properties of equality is that the boundaries between them are kind of fluid. Here's what I mean. Um, so let's just use another example. Let's say we have x minus 8 equals 9. And here, how do we solve it? We typically would say that we're adding 8 to both sides. In other words, we're using the addition property of equality. But you could say that you're subtracting negative 8. So another way to look at that is to say that x minus 8 equals 9. You probably wouldn't say it this way because it's a little confusing, right? Subtracting negative 8 from both sides. But it's important to realize that would get you the same result. So here, we could use subtraction of a negative or the addition of a positive in the same way. Likewise, of course, we could subtract a positive or add a negative. And with the multiplication and division, the same idea is true. Um, let's say we have x divided by 8 equals um, 10. Right? So here to solve this, we can multiply both sides by 8. So x divided by 8 times 8 is x, and 10 times 8 is 80. Um, also, though, we could, and this would be confusing, I, I do agree with that, but we could divide both sides by one-eighth. Dividing by an eighth means you're multiplying by eight, right? Divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal, and that would get you the same result, that x equals 80. 10 divided by one-eighth, well, 80 one-eighths are in 10, and x divided by one-eighth, divided by one-eighth, right, <laughs> is 1, because how many 1 eighths are in 1 eighth of an x? 1. Um, so multiplication and division, of course, are very fluid. We could use either 1, and so are addition and subtraction. It's just important, um, if you're solving a problem, to be clear about the language so you can share your intent. So if your intent was to subtract or add or multiply or divide, uh, it's important you be clear about that so people who are reading your work can understand what you're doing. This is just adding some language to the everyday moves you make while solving and balancing equations. Alright, hope this helped.